Video Gamers Oasis. Website, YouTube channel. I'm the scroll. And destroy a perfectly good filing system? No, that won't do. Uh, let's talk to uh, Jonas. Ah! Where to start again? I trust no griffins were harmed in the capturing of that egg. No, nope, of course not, Jonas. You know me. I do. Excellent. All right. Let's talk about third trial. That does not sound appealing. Hmm. Perhaps you can skip it? I don't think it works that way, Jonas. Yeah. What about the bloodbark forest? The forest fowls may be a little uncouth and tend to throw their young out of the nest before they're ready, but you won't see a more honest, hard-working flock. Tell me about the goblins. Despicable creatures from what I've seen. Tell me about the red caps. Why in the winds would they call themselves that? <laughs> Tell me about hostilities. Those goblins are always mad about something. Alright. What's something else? What's something else? Tell me about the trinicorn. I've never seen one up close. But I hear they respond to the sound of a maiden's voice. Oh. Can you sing? Very funny, Jonas. <laughs> about something else. Uh... <clears throat> telescope. Have you ever spotted a trinicorn through your telescope, Jonas? Let's look at one. Can't say that I... Wait. Is it a large animal? Fairly. With a unique three-point horn? Yes. And those nasty goblins enjoy hunting it? Unfortunately. Then no. <laughs> Not today, anyway. Where? What? Where did you see the trinicorn? Past the two forest towers that those little green archers like to shoot things from. Here, I'll show you. Forgot, All set. Guy here. Oh wow. That's the uh, Bloodbark Forest. Near the Red Cap Camp. Perfect. Right, um, any news? Keep this between us, but I am working on an incantation that will propel the caster into the sky. Then we can discover what it's really made of and why it changes color. Surely that's for the elements to know. <sighs> I suppose. Still, it would be fun to see for ourselves. Hey, gossip? Some of the town's children have been borrowing the blacksmith's tools after dark. They are building a secret fortress in one of the back streets. Something else. Um, gotta fly. Keep your head in the clouds. I gotta find myself a nice scroll. <sighs> Clutter. On shelves or the floor makes no difference to Jonas. It is beyond my ability to sort. I used to play with those years ago and destroy a Taking Jonas's wine bottle would not be the smartest move. All right, let's move on. It's not here. The scroll's not here. The room most sparse. Fountain hall. I am glad you have returned yes. safely from I'm the back. mountains. Jonas assured me you would be all right among the Flytarians. But I was worried all the same. Thank you so I am much. fine, Shireen. Honest. Just be doubly cautious in the forest. You never know who or what you'll find. All right. Save our game. Uh, let's say this as Shireen. See if we can ask her some questions. We should know information. Uh, 
Um, third trial. So it has come to this. Hold fast, Dark. You will soon join the ranks of your brethren and the pool of your caste. Bloodbark Forest. I have little love for the forest, but there is much to be learned from it, even by the students of water. Goblins. They were once an intelligent race, creative, resourceful, but their once grand path has since split into tiny tracks. Now they dwell in splintered groups, deprived of their strength, their unity, and their purpose. I'm with the red caps. Their practice cannot be condoned, but we are loath to interfere. So much has been done to the goblin race by our hands, or rather our ancestors, that few are willing to sully them further. Oh, the hostilities. There has long existed a tension between our forest neighbors and this tower. It is an old feud, and one that cannot be resolved easily. I regret to say, we have much in our distant history to be ashamed of. Mm. Oh, something else. Tell me about the Trinacorn. I'm afraid I have little knowledge to impart. Except that their numbers have declined in recent years, as have many forest species. There is little doubt who is to blame. How about something else? News? My sister from Stray Mist's Tower is soon to step down as Watermaster. Elements tend to run in the family. Any gossip? The Masters have yet to decide who shall replace Pyres. That is the official word. In all likelihood, they have already made their choice. Something else. Uh, take care. A fountain? I have to drop ten gold coins in. Okay, I, I don't need to do that. You know, the scroll might be in the library, maybe. The fish could not be safer behind this glass. The fit... Find the scroll most sparse. The place most sparse. Um, try the reading hall. Made board. it through the second round? Yep. I'll have to change my bets. What? <laughs> I'm joking, Dark. Of course you are. Save this port. Consult port. Alright. What's this? Equipped gem needs immediate repair. Talk to Bort first. Find the scroll. Uh, talk about the third trial. Ready for round three? Yes. What do you need to know? Something about the forest. I know just the thing. Oh. You should be able to find it now. Alright. Tell me about the Bloodbark Forest. I have made the trip numerous times and cannot recommend it to you enough. However, I would avoid it after dark if possible. While I am on good terms with the green cap goblins, the red caps, not so much. Hmm. Tell me about the red caps. To say they have little regard for nature's balance is an understatement. The pass to their camp is only accessible at night. To locate it, head as far into the forest as you can, then travel right until you see twin archer platforms. Okay. The camp lies beyond them. Beyond those, okay. Uh, tell me hostilities. It's our fault that the goblins are now fractured and scattered all over East Elliwold. But, if they hadn't formed an alliance with other races to rival us, we would not have had to take drastic measures to control them. That was a long time ago, though. 
none of us can be held personally responsible. Okay. Um, talk about um, something else. Tell me about the, the trinicorn. I have never seen one, but I have read they are gentle beasts at heart. It is said they will drop one of their horns to those who show them great kindness. Don't worry, they grow them back. Well, something else. Um, see you later. Let's get that book. 